Well, one man that needs no introduction to the uh, media channels of the Geelong District Football and Netball League, Rob Cameron. Rob, welcome to our coverage. We do need an introduction to the cup you're holding. We've got a big weekend ahead, I believe. We have indeed, Alex, and good to have you back doing the uh, GDFNL coverage. It's, uh, it's great to see you. But this is an important day for th well, for three aspects. The Community Bank, which is the, um, services Winchelsea, Anglesey and Lawn, really want to get involved in community footy. We've been involved in the Ballerine with Mottawari and Anglesey, but we thought it natural now to involve Winchelsea and Inverlee in the Community Bank Cup concept, which is played over all senior football and netball games. So even someone playing in the second 18 footy or the D-grade netball, they have an important role in working out who is going to win the Community Bank Cup in its inaugural outing this Saturday at Winch. So there's a fair bit of excitement bank-wise, and hopefully the two clubs are going to start to uh, get a little bit serious about playing for this. Senior football currently play for the Tony Hill Shield. Tony was a, a great man involved in both clubs, sadly. We lost him to cancer some time ago. We certainly don't want to override the importance of that, but this cup allows everyone in the senior section of both clubs to be involved in an outcome, and we think it's pretty exciting. Both clubs will receive financial support from the bank out of the concept as well, which we're really proud of. Yeah. Now, I believe you have a direct link to both clubs because inside uh, the walls behind we, we you... We do indeed. We'll, time Pierce for an introduction. Longmore has been building up, Alex, over the last few weeks. Uh, Keeley Park... Uh, part of the Inverlee netball section and uh, Ebony Berg will be known to many in the A-grade netball section playing for Winch. Both these girls uh, are very keen and involved in this concept through the bank but also the bitter rivalry that the two clubs are, are developing. So girls, how do you think uh, each club will go against each other across the grades? Um, yeah, pretty good. I think Winch always um, stacks up pretty well against Inverlee, particularly in A-grade. We always have um, a very good rivalry against Inverlee, so um, yeah, I think it'll be a good game, a physical contest, and I think it'll be a pretty close to A-grade, but hopefully we should get over the line. Well, A-grade, I tell you what, the Hawks, they've had that many close finishes in season 2024, my heart rate will tell you that. Looking over towards D-grade, if you guys let this one slip, I believe the Blues climb into the top three, so you won't be having any of that? No, we definitely won't be having any of that. Uh, the girls are prepared, they're ready to go. Um, it's definitely going to be a tough one, it's definitely not just a walk in the park. But I definitely know we can bring it in. And yeah, it should be a great game, great physical game. So girls, I want to ask you both personally with your connection with Rob. He's just spent half a decade promoting this league in both football and netball. The fact that he's continuing to put together initiatives like that, what does that mean to you personally? Yeah, um, Stick means a lot to the Witch community, the footy club, the bank. Um, work he does day in day out is just incredible um, and we're very lucky to have him um, within the community. Yeah, his tireless work, he's always on the job, always scouting, always doing everything around the community, that's no, great. And how does that feel on a Wednesday morning getting appraisal like that? It feels pretty good but it's easy to do, I mean like you Alex, I'm, you know the love of, uh, of grassroots sport, it's really really important and I just hope that this could be the start of building up a rivalry symbol to that great Bannockburn in Bully rivalry that's carried through the Geelong District Footy League for a long time. Uh, this one's in the early stages, but hopefully this cup will add a bit of spice to all future contests with, uh, with Winch and Inverley, and of course grades of uh, football and netball, not just the footy. It's, uh, it's going to be a really important day, and the bank's very, very proud to be involved. And as for this Saturday, guys, what's the crowd prediction? Well, I think it should be pretty big. Winch always have a big home crowd. They're, they're great hosts, as Inverley are, when they, when they hold things over at the Morton Power Oval. But this one's at Winch. We expect a lot of local support and we hope that all the Inverley people are perhaps thinking, ah, oh, we won't go over to Winch. It's only 20 k's. Come for the drive, get involved, make it a really big day for both clubs. It's a pleasant drive just between the towns. Now, speaking of predictions, let's finish off with some boldness. I want to play to watch in football and netball from all three of you. Go. Dalton Grundle for me, for Inverley in the footy, but uh, Cassidy Parrish back to the club this year. I think he'd really like to step up for this one. He'll be in the middle against some pretty good opposition. I think those they're the two players in the net in the football. In the netball, I uh, watched the game very closely last week. I've got a bit of skin in the game with my uh, daughter Zoe Tennant arriving at uh, Winch this year, but I think the key is the coach, Casey Carroll. She's a very important player. And, and for Inverley, I'm a big fan of Kelsey White and uh, I love the way she plays. Heart and soul in Billy Girl. Yep. Um, from the weak side in netball, I think Bree Williams, she's had a fabulous start to the season. 
Um, and yet yeah, every game she, she brings her best game. So I reckon she'll be a big part of that day. In the footy wise, sticking with the Parish boys, I think Finn Parish. Um, he's again had a great start to the season. Um, and yeah, I think he'll, he'll bring his best on Saturday. Uh, for the Invalay side, um, footy, I reckon Billy Mack, Billy McIntosh, he's had such a fierce time in the Razzies this year, um, so far, coming off best and fairest last year, I um, reckon he's going to pull it out for a, for a big one on Saturday, and for netball, I reckon Tegan Madden's going to put some pressure down on the defence end of their shooters, and yeah, hopefully get a few tips and get the win. Just an endless list of star power, whether they're wearing the blue and white or the brown and gold. Thanks for joining us this Wednesday morning, guys. Good on you, Thank mate. You. Well done.